Hello everyone, myself Diva Karpal and I am graduated from Ramakrishna Mission Vivekananda Centenary College, Ramada, Kolkata. And in GEM, I secured All India Rank 143 and in GEST 34. I also qualified in TFR GS examination and selected for integrated PhD in TFR Mumbai. So now in this video, I will share you my HRI interview experience. This is my second interview. And in the interview panel, there were there were four officers, and they first um, asked me to uh, my choice of topic, and then I said that uh, EMT and quantum mechanics. Then uh, first uh, question asked from quantum mechanics that uh, what I learned in quantum mechanics. Then I said that. Uh, uh, historical development of quantum mechanics and then uh, postulate of quantum mechanics then they asked me to um, uh, told them that postulate of quantum mechanics um, then uh, I first uh, told them that uh, the definition of an wave function uh, what th that means and then uh, the, the definition of expectation value and they uh, uh, asked me to write down the uh, formula for uh, expectation value and I write that expectation value of uh, some operator let's say x is the position expectation value is something like this and then they uh, asked me that uh, what is the ground state wave function of a linear harmonic oscillator one dimensional and I write um, So here A is a constant, uh, it contains A omega uh, pi and etc and C is another constant. This xi is linearly related with x and this is just, uh, uh, this uh, say the nature of this equation, this is not the exact form and here H um, is a harmonic polynomial. Uh, here uh, is 0 value is 1 so I put it here and then they uh, asked me to to calculate the expectation value of position in ground state so this is the ground state of function and then I have to calculate the expectation value of position so as this is a, a normalized wave function so this value is 1 and so minus infinite, infinite. S square x e to the power minus x square c one dx. So this is a even function and this is an odd function. So this whole is a odd function and minus infinite to plus infinite of an odd function this lead to you zero. And then they asked me to uh, find the expectation values of momentum in the ground state and momentum expectation value is also similar minus i
So here it is again an odd function and minus infinite plus infinite this give you zero and then they asked me uh, write down the uh, wave function of fast excited resistor so for fast excited resistor this is one and there is a x so for that they again ask me to calculate the expectation value of the position and in that case this is uh, non zero uh, because this is an even function so this is non zero but in that case the moment expectation value so momentum is again zero so if we calculate it we will get a odd function and then again it gives you zero so that's the first question and then another professor um, asked me and he draw a figure like this and here there is a charge this is a q and in that surface he asked me to calculate this integral now from gauss law we know that this is equal to charge enclosed by epsilon not in free space so here uh, he asked me to calculate the value of this integral in for a particular this surface this is a one surface or uh, among this eight surface now um, if we uh, take another eight cube like this um, another eight cube then this uh, charge q uh, the uh, flux due to this charge is equally distributed among the 8 cube and this uh, field line is passes through the 8 cube so for a particular 1 cube the value of this uh, the, the flux is 1 by 8 of the total flux so here the flux through this uh, cube is simply q by 8 epsilon naught and as this surface and this front surface and this bottom surface the electric field line is parallel to the surface so uh, the contribution for the flux is going to zero and only three surfaces will contribute to this flux and, and this integration for i have to calculate for one single surface so I have to divide this value with the 3 and so the result is become q by 24 epsilon naught. So this is the answer. Now another professor asked me to draw a diagram that so this is a mirror and here is a person he has an eye and this is the top of his head this is the eye and the distance is x and his total height is capital H so this distance is h minus x now from mirror to the man the distance is t and what is the minimum length of this mirror required to uh, see the full image of this person now for that I have to uh, so the ray coming from here reflected by this mirror and uh, hit by the eyes another ray coming from this side will come to that point and I named P Q R S. So 
so in in this triangle in this triangle we can write it as r s divided by h minus x is equal to this is also d or uh, d divided by 2d so here r s equal to h minus x by d similarly for the upper triangle this pq by x equal to d by 2d so pq equal to x by 2 so this is the thing now pq plus qr plus r is give you capital h so qr that is the length minimum length required to the for the mirror is equal to h minus pq minus rs equal to h minus x by 2 minus h minus x by 2 equal to h minus h by 2 equal to h by 2 so this is the minimum length required to see the full image of this man now another professor asks me that what is the minimum length of this mirror so that is this and what is the minimum height of the mirror so minimum height of the mirror means qr plus rs that means this distance plus that distance this is the height of the mirror so that is simply h by 2 plus rs h minus x by 2 and h minus x by 2 so this is the minimum height of the mirror so these are the whole experience of hri interview so thank you